event near here called the Oak Fair at King's Stag and it's a celebration of the countryside. Last year I really enjoyed watching a man cutting hay with a long handled scythe. Watching a skillful person at work is fascinating. They have the skill to do something which you admire and perhaps is beyond your capability. In many historic tourist attractions like the old ship the SS Great Britain at Bristol, they use mannequins rather than real sailors to give the impression of the work in a bygone age. But I think watching a real person working is worth a hundred mannequins. My grandfather had some cousins who farmed in Somerset and he used to tell me how fascinated he was by watching his cousin mowing a field with a drum mower. Up to that point he had only seen mowing done with a cutter bar mower. He said he leaned on the gate and watched his cousin mow the whole field and it didn't take long at all. My grandfather was born in 1895 and the changes in agriculture in his lifetime were most incredible and almost unimaginable and well worth leaning on the gate to watch. Sometimes, when working, it's nice to be watched. It can make you feel appreciated. And perhaps the person watching can see that you can do something that they can't. But to be watched by the boss, who's trying to pick fault, is not so much fun and can lead you to make mistakes that you wouldn't normally make. Watching others is a big part of human society. Admiring, learning, assessing, or even being entertained, that's okay. Those who know us want to know what we've been getting up to. And if they've not been around to watch us, we have to be ready to tell them. How are you, people ask, or how's the allotment going? And we have to be ready to answer. These are important social interactions that make up life. When I was working at the youth club, I remember trying to get to know a lad. I told him a bit about myself and then asked him something and he said, you're a bit nosy, aren't you? Well, I suppose I was. I hadn't thought of it like that. He was much happier, actually, uh, letting me watch him beating me at a game of pool. They were good at it because they were playing it all the time. We like to be watched doing something well and perhaps kidding ourselves that we're even more capable than we actually are. So, you might ask, how is your allotment going? Well, the red currants and white currants look good this year and the summer fruit in raspberries look good. Um, can't be sure yet. I made some white currant wine last year and that now tastes amazingly fruity with a bit of a hit on the back of the throat. A bit like ginger. If I get sufficient red currants I'll try to make some red currant wine for the first time. <laughs>